Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm going to be running down our list of the best FE exam prep courses on the market. We've had the chance to use and review about a half dozen or so courses at this point, and today I'm going to tell you what the top three are and who each might be best for. And by the way, since I'll just be covering the high points today, if you find you need more detail at any point during this video, we also have a full written guide over on our website that has way more information. The best way to find that is probably just to Google Test Prep Insight FE exam courses. It's the quickest way to get there. All right, since I don't like countdown videos, I wanna get straight to our pick for the best overall FE exam course and work down from there. So after testing out all of these different courses, we have School of PE as our number one pick. For us, when you look at all of the factors that matter, they are simply the best overall course on the market. Let me give you a quick breakdown of what you get. Live online lectures, hard copy review guides, digital review materials, practice problems, full length simulated exams, and a bunch more. In terms of features and comprehensiveness, they're sort of tied with PPI to pass. Both are just ultra deep and immersive prep programs, but School of PE edges them out and gets our number one spot for three main reasons. Course structure, on-demand video lectures, and an awesome printed review guide. Let me start with the course design, which is one of the clearest highlights. So from the dashboard, all of your substantive content and review material is neatly bucketed into sections under a course materials tab based on topic. For example, in the FE Civil course, you've got folders for statics, dynamics, and fluids, just to name a few. For OCD type brains like mine, this neat and orderly approach to keeping everything organized is really nice. And in terms of what's under these folders, you can think of each as a learning module for that particular topic. Each module generally consists of five core learning elements, including refresher notes, workshop problems and solutions, lecture videos, quizzes, and flashcards. Now, I won't go into the nitty gritty detail of each component since this is just a higher level video review, but just note that this course structure is very effective. Some other courses can be sporadic and jump from topic to topic day to day, but the School of PE coursework is intelligently designed and really seems to enhance material comprehension and retention. Then, the second highlight is the on-demand video lectures. These videos generally take the form of a slideshow style class. A profile picture of your instructor appears in the upper left hand corner and the main teaching is done on screen with slides. The instructor will mark the slides up with a stylus and voice their lesson over the on-screen text. I think it's a pretty classic and effective teaching method that I'm sure most of you will be used to if you've ever taken an online college class. They're not the most dramatic or engaging videos we've ever seen, but they're definitely effective and get to the point in an efficient manner. They're some of the better content review videos we've reviewed and rated. And the last thing I want to cover is the School of PE review guide you get when you sign up. For us, it was the FE Civil Exam Review Guide, but of course there's separate review guides for the different disciplines. But anyway, this printed text was really, really useful. It generally tracks with and supplements the primary digital materials and contains key notes, formulas and equations, cross-references to the reference handbook, and sample prompts. And the best part of this book is that alongside each practice problem, there's a QR code, which you can scan on a mobile app and see a detailed problem solution. Basically, they tie the hard copy book material back into the digital material, and everything is integrated through these nifty QR codes scannable through the app. It's just a really cool set. And that's why we like School of PE best. It's a very comprehensive course with a great combination of course design, video lectures, and printed review materials. It's just a great all around package. Now, in terms of price, School of PE is somewhere in the middle of the pack with a price tag of around $1,400. They're more expensive than others, but they're also less expensive than their main rival, PPI to Pass, whose live online classes generally carry a price tag closer to $1,800. But having said that, School of PE does seem to be pretty big on discounts, and you can generally find this course for around $300 off with one of their frequent promos. So do make sure to look for coupon codes or discount if there's a sale on before buying. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current discount and promo codes that are floating around out there for all the companies that I'll be discussing today. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen and maybe save yourself some money if you end up going with one of these courses from my list today. All right, so second up on our list is Best Value Week. And for us, that's Civil Engineering Academy. And obviously they take the number two spot for one primary reason, bang for your buck pricing. With the price tag under $700, Civil Engineering Academy costs just a fraction of what other prep companies charge, and for students still in school or fresh out of college with student loans, this can be a really big deal. But to be clear, this isn't some sort of no-frills budget course. They also provide some of the better study resources we've reviewed. With Civil Engineering Academy, you get a series of 14 module-based lessons, hundreds of practice problems with video explanations, and two full-length practice exams. In terms of how the course works, in each module, your instructors provide high-level overviews of the most important concepts and equations for that topic before diving into the nitty-gritty of practice problems to show you how these concepts play out in practice. 
These modules, which each cover a major subject tested on the FE exam, are pretty comprehensive and helpful, and our team especially like the downloadable lecture slides that you can take notes in and follow along in. Plus, the other highlight of the Civil Engineering Academy course is the fact that you get video solutions accompanying every practice problem. These videos sprinkle in references to equations in the NCES reference handbook, which you get during the exam, and the visual breakdowns they provide are awesome. Basically, when you combine the learning modules with the realistic practice problems and superb video explanations, it's just a really powerful combo. And by the way, if you wanna see some samples of what I'm talking about with these video solutions, make sure to check out that detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier in this video. There is a bunch of screenshots and pictures over there. The link to that will be down below in the description for you. Now, if there are two downsides to going with Civil Engineering Academy, it's the fact that there are no live classes, that's kind of a bummer, and the fact that this course is only offered for the civil version of the FE exam. If you're taking a FE mechanical or another discipline, unfortunately, this course is not gonna work for you. But otherwise, if you're pretty self-driven and want a self-paced on-demand study tool for the FE civil, Civil Engineering Academy is honestly about as good as they come, especially for only $700. And even at that, we do sometimes see them knock five or 10% off their price, so do make sure to check for coupon codes before buying. All right, so last up here in number three on our list is PPI to pass, which I've already mentioned. And actually, there's probably a good chance you've maybe even heard of PPI before. They're basically the gold standard for written prep materials for FE and PE review. And for us, there are two big reasons to go with PPI. They're live online classes, they're probably the best in the space, and they're printed study materials, most notably their FE review book. So let's start with the classes. If you need the accountability and commitment that comes with live classes, think long and hard about PPI. School of PE's classes are very good in their own right, but we do prefer PPIs after having taken both. Their instructors just have such a firm grasp of the material on the exam and are really good communicators as well, which in a way I almost think is more important. The classes are engaging and the design of their lessons is very smart and efficient. There's very little wasted time. The progression of the class series is methodical and moves from topic to topic, building on foundational knowledge. Bottom line, our team was really impressed with this aspect of the live course. And then second, there's the books. So PPI to Pass provides some of the most authoritative text and reference manuals on the market. And as I already mentioned a second ago, they're generally regarded as the gold standard. For purposes of the FE exam, when you sign up with PPI to Pass, you'll get a printed copy of their FE review book based on your discipline. Again, for us, it was the FE Civil Review Book. But no matter your discipline, the PPI review book provides more detail and equations than you'll ever need. And while these books are crazy comprehensive, we also found them to be very readable. They do a great job of taking mass amounts of material and distilling it down to the most essential elements, while still providing the detail where needed. In short, they're well written, find the right level of detail, and are thoughtfully structured. Now, if there is one major drawback with PPI, as I've already kind of touched on, it's the price tag. The PPI Live Online course costs around $1,800, which is not cheap. The on-demand package is a little better at around $1,500, but no matter how you cut it, PPI is on the expensive side. It's a top-tier study product, so they charge top-tier prices. Though again, like School of PE, PPI is pretty good about running sales and special promos, and you can usually find their courses for around 15% off, so make sure to check for that. Again, discount links will be down below in the description for you. But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this video. So let's get to my final thoughts and verdict. But before I hit you with that, I do just wanna mention that since you're studying for the FE exam, we actually give away a free prep course every single month to one of our subscribers. It's really simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know. You could win a totally free FE exam prep course from one of the companies I've talked about today. Okay, so final thoughts. Which FE exam prep course is right for you? Well, in the end, I think it really boils down to your budget, learning style, and desired features. That's just the truth of it. If you're looking to keep your prep more affordable and on the budget side, and you happen to be studying for the civil version of the exam, then go with Civil Engineering Academy. They're an incredible value, and it's a very strong course with quality video lectures and practice material. If, however, money is less of a concern, then it more so turns on what you're looking for in features. If you want or need live classes, I would strongly consider PPI to pass. They are the most expensive course out there, but their live classes are fantastic and all the other materials that back up the classes are rock solid. But at the end of the day, if you're simply looking for the best overall FE exam prep course out there with all of the goods, that's School of PE. In all of the categories that matter, course design, printed study materials, realism of practice work, answer solutions, everything, they get the highest grades. 
But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about all these different courses. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you next time.